Hi everyone, welcome to researchmd.com. We are going to today, we're going to talk about this new drug, darolutamide. And my name is Pramil Charyat. I'm a director of research. I teach medical students in residence, a program director in internal medicine, transitional residency. I'm also a faculty of two major medical schools. So let's look at darolutamide and the role. When you look at it, it's an androgen receptor inhibitor. The chemical name, we added like a long chemical name. Molecular weight is around 398.85. You got the molecular formula, and we put a nice picture of the structural formula. It's an optically active within the specific rotation value and white to grayish, yellowish white crystalline powder, soluble in tetrahydro <coughs> if you run, practically insoluble in aqueous medium as a pK of 11.75. Some small facts about um, what are the ingredients in this? Uh, of course, you got darolutamide, and then you have calcium, hydrogen, phosphate, um, cross carmelo sodium, lactose monohydrate, magnesium, steatate, I mean, steatate, providone K30, um, hypromellose, and macro gel, and titanium dioxide, and these are the other components in this drug. Mechanism of action, again, uh, studies have shown it benefit in the prostate cancer, so it's an androgen receptor antagonist, right? What does it do? It decrease proliferation of the prostate tumor cell and increase apoptosis or cell death and decrease the tumor volume or shrink the volume, okay? Remember, it's an androgen receptor antagonist. So what are the indications? <clears throat> the treatment of the non-metastatic uh, castration resistant prostate cancer. Again, indication for this drug is treatment for non-metastatic castration resistant prostate cancer. Dosage is 600 milligram twice a day. You can take it oral. You don't need an injection. Brand name is called in New Becca. Okay, so pharmacokinetics, let's look at how does it, it moves through the body. It's a low penetration of the blood uh, brain barrier. So usually the CNS effects are less. Low binding affinity, GABA type A receptor, lesser chance of seizures uh, <clears throat> for this drug. That's also very good. Protein binding, like many other drugs, 92% bind bound to serum albumin to like transport throughout the body. <clears throat> if you got the pharmacokinetic, um, it's metabolized by CYP34A, UGT1A9, UGT1A1. Active metabolite is called a keto darolutamide. Bioavailability is like around 30%. And half life, you can stay in the body for like 20 hours. Time to peak is like 40 hours. I mean, I'm sorry, four hours. Is mainly excreted the urine 63.4%. <clears throat> rest is the, uh, with the feces, and the clearance is under and 16 ml per minute. Okay, adverse adverse events or adverse effect of this drug. 16% um, of the people can have fatigue, there's neutropenia, and 20% of the people there's increased um, liver function and liver function tests like serum um, uh, aspartate aminotransferate, increased serum bilirubin, asthenia, ischemic heart disease in 4%, cardiac failure in 2%, skin rise 3%, limb pain and 6%. And so what is a reproductive concern? Males with the female partners or reproductive potential should use this effective contraception because we don't know much about it. So don't use it like, I mean, if you are trying to, I mean, <clears throat> I mean, if you're, there's a male and female partners trying to be, uh, have a baby, you have to be very careful. I mean, don't use this drug. You, I mean, or you have to use um, effective contraception before you can use this drug, okay? So in renal impairment, we have to look at the GFR. If the GFR is 30 to 89, you, need, you don't need to make any dosage adjustment, right? If there is like 15 to 29, if you calculate your GFR, it's like 15 to 29, then you have to uh, reduce the dose to 300 milligram per day. In end stage renal disease, there's no studies kind of definitely kind of looked at it. Hepatic impairment, mild impairment, if there is a cirrhosis or child view class A, um, then you don't need to make any adjustment. Let's say in moderate impairment, they, again, they looked at the child pew classification, class B in cirrhosis, reduce the dose to 300 milligram. In severe liver failure, like our severe liver disease, child pew class is like C. Um, there are no data on that, but definitely you need to decrease, decrease the dose. You have to be very careful, right? Cardiovascular disease, androgen deprivation therapy may increase the risk of cardiovascular disease. We looked at the side effects, or some uh, link in there. And contraindication, if there's any hypersensitivity reaction, any of daralutamide or any of the other component we missed, uh, um, any, uh, we need to worry about it. Again, thank you so much for watching. We'll be back with another presentation. Please subscribe to our channel. Thank you.